Good evening, everyone, and welcome. We are going to be talking about B12 and how this can help keep your brain healthy. Today's <laughs> article is based on Dr. Um, Hardick's article on um, B12 and the impact on our health of our brain and keeping it young. We realize there could be lots of questions and Dr. Justine has made herself available. Feel free to text her with any questions that you have about the presentation. So I wanted to welcome Dr. Justine and um, she is an incredible woman, um, not only the founder of the Justine Blaney Wellness Center with an incredible healthcare team behind her, but she is also an author and an athlete and an, incre an incredible mom. So she really believes that everyone deserves a healthcare team that is focused on prevention, optimal health and open communication. Please help me welcome Dr. Justine. Hello, everybody. And yes, this is an awesome topic. Dr. BJ Hardick is a friend of mine, and we see him at lots at the Maximize Living, Max Living seminars. Um, so I love his articles. You can see them online. He does many of them. And I just thought I'd highlight one of these because B12 is something that I've had to deal with, um, especially when I was vegan and then vegetarian. And the B vitamins are often just not tested or overlooked. So I wanted to take some extra time on those B vitamins today. Um, but upcoming, we will have a talk about um, heart disease and nutrition. We will have a talk about our fitness. We're going to talk about flexibility and the differences between flexibility, mobility, and the importance with Jessica, and a kid's talk because we want to keep them healthy as well. So stay tuned. Every week, we're trying to bring new topics. If you'd like a topic that we for us to speak on, please share it, and uh, we'd love to create a talk that would interest you as well. So today, as we're getting into those B vitamins, Dr. BJ Hardick has a wellness clinic in London, Ontario. Um, Cliff Hardick, his father's also a chiropractor. So wonderful family. And I wanted to share his information in his article about the importance of B12. And it is a supplement that I use regularly being a vegetarian. So I thought that I would look it up for myself and share information. So we see that uh, some of this research, Swedish research, shows that um, those with uh, lower brain volume had lower levels of this B12 with increased homocysteine. And that means that it's increased risk of inflammation in the body. So B12 and homocysteine are often supplements to help with uh, staying young, being having brain activity. But you will see through this presentation how you can get the foods naturally, how you can use supplements, and how you can have your B12 tested and the different ways to be tested. You're also going to look, we're going to look at what, how do you feel or not feel if you have a B12 deficiency. So some of the research, this is from 2010, they showed that lower, slower brain atrophy, um, almost sevenfold in individuals, um, in adult individuals, um, if they had lower B vitamins, the folate, the B6, B12. Um, so very, very important to have our B vitamins checked and our homocysteine checked if we want to see and try and prevent um, challenges with our brain function as we get older. Now, B12 deficiency um, is not normally a huge problem in North America, uh, but it is in other other parts of the world. Um, but there are people who are suffering silently. They don't realize that they have low B levels. Um, so um, with the fact that Alzheimer's dementia is going up, I know that I've had two grandparents with Alzheimer's uh, dementia in the family, and it's really stressful as the young people trying to help those with Alzheimer's, um, it's a huge cost on our healthcare society, but more just as an emotional cost to the family when your loved one is not remembering things. Um, you know, near the end, my grandfather didn't even remember if he turned a toaster on or even just how to eat at the end. So B12 is super important for all functions in our body, but definitely for brain activity and good reason to check it. Hey, how are you doing? Are you somebody at risk? So if we look at the impact in Canada, you'll see that, you know, dementia is affecting over 500,000 people. They expect this to almost double in the next uh, 10 years. Um, we know that it's growing rep rep um, 
on a regular basis and definitely affecting over 50%, 65% of our seniors. And eventually it ends up being one in five. So if we think of our families, that's at least one of us in our, our, our family. Um, if you think of a nuclear family and grandparents, huge costs to deal with dementia and Alzheimer's and, and to get the supportive care that you need or the homes that you need. I know in the end, my grandfather needed 24 hours uh, supervision. Uh, so, you know, there's it's affecting all of us. There's a lot of stigma around memory and Alzheimer's and uh, dementia. It requires a lot of caregivers. It requires a lot of patience and finances. So this is a big deal uh, to understand, are you at risk? And do you have any um, B12 or B vitamin deficiencies? So it can be underdiagnosed. Um, some of the things that you may have no symptoms, you might just have low energy. Um, it may be affecting your ability to make red blood cells. Um, it, you could have uh, um, B12 only vitamin that has co cobalamin. Um, so then that's gonna affect nerve activity, which is so important as a chiropractor because we're looking at the nervous system. So what we know is that B12 affects every nerve function in your body. So it's super important to be able to see as a chiropractor or to have your blood work checked. And we're gonna go over some of those tests today. Now, if you have symptoms, some of the things you might notice is just mood changes. And a lot of times we, we blame that on the stress of the world, stress in our family, stress of finances. Um, but there could be a true deficiency um, affecting our fatigue levels, our anxiety levels, our mood, depression, our focus, our memory. Um, so the challenge is, is that we think of this as an older person or senior person concern but it does start at young ages. So all ages should be checked for B12 deficiency. Um, it's often missed because it's just not tested regularly. Um, you actually have to ask most often to have your B12. Um, often the range that they expect is really, really too low. Um, so, and some of the blood tests are not able to find it. Some of the different ranges, it's confusing between the Canadian stats and the US stats, but when you get your blood work, it usually says, here's the range, and then this is where you are, and it'll have a category that says high, low, or it says nothing, um, and you wanna have on the higher ranges of B12. So some people, um, like myself, would take B12 regularly uh, because I don't eat meat, and we'll go through that. Um, some people need an injection. Their B12 is so low, they go to their medical doctor or some of the naturopaths um, used to do. Uh, so now you have to find the, the naturopaths that are able to do injections for B12 injections. I've had to do that in the past as well, and it can be super helpful. Some of the traditional uh, challenges with the testing um, is that uh, people could look like they have norm normal B12 tests, but they're not measuring um, uh, for B12 sensitivity or the total B12 um, uh, serum levels. So uh, some of the tests that are better, you can go look the HOLO TC or the MMA. You can see that at the bottom of the slide, higher sensitivities um, for biomarkers of B12 because they measure the active B12. And sometimes you're going to, uh, if you're concerned about this, specifically if you're vegetarian or vegan, um, you may want to make sure you're requesting a higher level test. Or if you have low B12 in a the regular test, you may want to re uh, request for the higher levels. Now, here are the main ways to get the B12, and it's meat, and I don't eat meat. Poultry, chicken, I don't eat uh, chicken. So this is where if you're not eating those things, you want to get checked more frequently. Um, eggs, fish, uh, organ marrow, dairy, you can get B12 in there. But um, you can't, as a true vegetarian, only eat vitamin, uh, plants, get enough B12 because the plants don't make be, me, make it. Um, so vegans, vegetarians are much higher risk for this deficiency, um, as much as 50 to 80%. And certainly I was one of them. So that's why I take a B supplement. Um, some of the studies show the vegetarians have 
2.2 times higher death rates from mental and neurological studies. Um, they found that this can happen even with kids as young as six. So young children who are in vegetarian um, homes, vegetarian diets, they also have to be able to have their B12 checked because certainly you want that to um, help their cognitive development. So as you can tell, being a vegetarian, I'm not against being vegan or vegetarian, but it takes more work to be able to get your proper protein, um, to make your, sure you're getting your proper B vitamins, your supplements. It does mean that you want to be checking your your um, levels more frequently, uh, perhaps if, if you're not eating meat and those organ meats and chicken. Others that are higher risk, smokers, alcoholics, people with kidney concerns, uh, GI um, concerns, other areas of gut inflammation, IBS, chronic uh, health conditions um, like Crohn's and uh, irritable bowel are certain areas where you want to be able to, again, getting your B12 checked because maybe you're not absorbing it as well as possible. Different medications, proton uh, inhibitors, um, metformin, some of the different medications you want to check with your pharmacist, your medical doctor, can that be affecting your B12 levels? And then, of course, get that checked. Pregnant women um, could also need a higher levels. So, um, again, when getting blood work, to have it checked, are you getting enough? Are you absorbing your pre um, natal multivitamin? Because maybe that's not the best vitamin for you and you're not absorbing the nutrients that you need. Um, it's complex. I mean, this is big stuff and certainly not going to cover all of it, but um, it, you may not be getting it from your food properly, even though you think you're eating meat, organ meats, fish, you or chicken, you eggs, you're eating all the foods. So you think, well, maybe I don't need to get checked, but there's areas that could be affecting your absorption. Um, so insufficient stomach acid, high levels of detoxification, um, uh, having any autoimmune concerns can affect your B12 um, absorption. Some symptoms, if you are deficient, like I said, one of the symptoms is no symptom. Um, that was me. I didn't, I didn't feel lack of energy. I didn't have any skin conditions or dizziness. But I wanted to review some of the symptoms because sometimes we think it's related to something else and we don't get our B12 checked. So one of them, for example, is joint pain, muscle aches and weakness. So as a chiropractor, this is some of the things that we see on a regular basis, lack of energy, dealing with stress. And it's easy just to blame it on something else, not necessarily uh, what's happening today with COVID, but with stress in our homes, stress at work. So very important to understand that can affect these joints, these muscles, our energy levels, our digestion, our moods, anxiety, depression, inflammation may affect our tongue or tingling and numbness in our hands or our feet that doesn't follow a dermatone or a nerve pattern, troubles with breathing, heart conditions, and breathing conditions. So that can get confused with asthma or other stress-related concerns. Some of the tips um, I, I talked about that we want to eat, um, you know, meats, um, free range, um, uh, wild meats if we can, wild fish, organ meats. Um, but again, if you're vegan or vegetarian, that's more difficult. And that's why you can get foods um, that are uh, fortified with your B vitamins um, to try and make it easier for yourself or like myself taking a regular B supplement. Now, remember that B supplements are all not um, regulated. So you have to right, find a good B supplement. And then you also want to make sure that it is working for you. So just because you take a supplement doesn't mean you say, OK, yep, I'm good. No, you still want regular checkup um, with your blood work. Um, I eat eggs and fish, um, but I still know um, that my B values are too low. So that's why by getting it checked, I know that I still need to have a B supplement. And then I realized I wasn't taking enough um, for my absorption. And same thing happened with vitamin D. So by having regular checkups with your medical doctor or with your naturopath, you can say, okay, yes, my vitamin levels are at a high enough level for me to be um, um, uh, be able to function at my best. So highly recommend that you know that your supplement is working for you and you're getting the best 
quality supplement. And that definitely, uh, that information can be done with your naturopath. We have Dr. Udani in our team. I highly recommend her um, to do a consultation to meet and greet with her. Those are free. Ask some questions and then you can do an examination. She can order this blood work um, in order to be able to have your B vitamins, your D vitamins, your minerals tested to see if you're at appropriate levels. So um, some, where does this B vitamin come from, supplements come, come from? Uh, there are two main uh, types of supplement, cyanone, uh, cobalamin, and methylcobalamin. Um, the cyano is the most common, uh, but it's inferior in quality. Um, the methylcobalamin um, uh, is more easily as, uh, absorbed and assimilated. And guess what? It's confusing when you go to a health food store and there's all these different types of products. Um, so definitely get the advice you need from the professionals. Um, it does have to be balanced with other vitamins. So this is one of the things that I have noticed over the years. Uh, just personally, I might up one vitamin and then that lowers the value of another supplement because they do have to work together. And so to know how you get these balances, um, it is important, again, to check all of your different supplements um, to make sure that your body's absorbing, uh, the whether it's a B complex or a B12 properly, your folate properly. Um, and in this slide, Dr. BJ talks about not confusing your folic acid with your folate. Um, the folic acid is a lot cheaper. So again, it's super important if you're going to invest in supplements, get good quality supplements because many of the products on the market today are not regulated properly and can have a ton of filler in them. Finally, you know, as a chiropractor, we always got to talk about the nervous system. Uh, B12, the B vitamins affect every part of your nervous system, your nerves from your brain all the way down to the lower spine control everything in your body. So B12 affects your nervous system, then your nervous system can affect any organ from how your brain functions, your memory, your focus, your hormones, um, your moods, your sleep, uh, to how it affects your, you know, your thyroid, your blood pressure, tingling numbness in your hands, affects your joints, affects your organs, affects your digestion, affects tingling numbness in your feet super important uh, to make sure you have the right values. And that's why as a chiropractor, I'm an expert at finding and removing those subluxations, pressure on the nervous system, but we still need with maximized living to take care of the five essentials. We need to ma uh, maximize our mind and managing a stress. We need to maximize our nervous system, taking the pressure off, removing those subluxations, the pressure on those nervous, um, on the nervous system and on those joints. Um, we need to maximize our nutrition, and that's why working with a naturopath and checking our nutritional values, checking our minerals, checking um, our vitamin values is super important. And then we need to maximize our exercises and minim minimize the detox, the toxins in our body. If we are toxic, that's going to affect our body's ability for the nervous system to function and for our body to um, absorb uh, the B vitamins. And that's why our, uh, our holistic nutritionist helps with um, doing live blood cell analysis, mineral analysis, as well as doing detox foot baths um, and teaching detox methods. So our holistic nutritionist, uh, Sabine, and um, you, Dr. Udani, our naturopath, are there to help you with these detoxes so that you can do it in a safe manner. Many people who do a detox end up sick all over, achy all over. Um, so you want to be able to do it in a safe manner and be monitored um, along that detox pathway. So just concluding, the B vitamins are super, super important. And the most important lesson we want to learn from today is make sure you get the proper testing. Um, personally, I try to do it annually to check my B vitamins. Um, but at the beginning, when I started my vegan diet and then worked to a vegetarian diet, I did want to get tested more often as I figured out um, what I personally needed and make sure I was absorbing those vitamins properly. Um, what you don't test, you don't know basically, right? What you don't test, you don't know. And then we're ignorant and, and maybe not uh, as healthy as possible, as energetic as possible. Um, basically, we want to turn that dimmer switch up so we can be our best. So upcoming talks, we do have one on um, the nutrition and heart disease with Dr. Udani. 
We have one on exercises and flexibility. And of course, we want to keep our kids healthy. Um, so we have uh, a talk just for the kids. So stay tuned with us. Share this information with others worldwide, all over. It's virtual. We're going to have talks every single week. Um, connect with us on Facebook, uh, YouTube, on our website. Please do um, uh, comments, um, testimonials. We love to hear those and others do too. It helps them learn more. So share, have a wonderful week, and we'll be in touch with you soon.